everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back, yay! I know I probably sound a little stuffy and maybe a little out of breath um, on this video. It's because I got the flu, the kind where you get the fever, the chills, the coughing, the whole nine yards. And so I'm still recovering, but um, I had to get in here and do a video for you and be creative. So this is the card that we're going to make today. And I just want to say I am so grateful, that's why I'm doing this card, to two of my good, good friends, um, Tina, um, uh, she does Two Chicks and a Cricket vlog, which was our originally our vlog together, and I still weigh in over there, but um, because I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator now, I have my own blog, and then my friend Candace, who is one of my best stamp club members and she's always comes to all my stuff um they got me this set they got candace got me the stamp set and tina got me the framelit set for my birthday so thank you to you both you girls i am so grateful so that's what i wanted to say in this video and then um so let's get started on making this card i'm going to be sending this card out to everybody who placed an order from me in the month of march so in April, if you placed an order with me in the month of March, you'll get this card in the mail. So let's get started. Okay. Um, first of all, I used the Apothecary Art Stamp Set, which is in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now when I first see this stamp set, I automatically think that it should be used with very neutral colors. So I tried to step out of the box and make it with really bright colors just for fun and because it's spring. Well, it's supposed to be. So this is Black Stays on Ink. And I'm just going to ink up my stamp upside down like so. And stamping right in the middle. And I prefer to stamp first and then use my Big Shot to cut because then I know exactly I can line everything up very nice. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot. Let's see if I can zoom out a little. Okay, and then I'm going to use my multi-purpose platform and two clear plates. Well, they're clear when you get them. And they're not clear after you use them a bunch. And there's a raised edge here, so I'm just going to put that down and line it up over my image that I've stamped. Some people like to stamp first. Okay, and then I'm carefully sandwiching it. Some people like to stamp first and then cut. Or, wait, cut and then stamp. But I never have luck with that. It just doesn't work well for me. Okay, so I ran it through my Big Shot. Whoops. I'm going to take the framelit out. And it just pops out just like that, crisp and clean. Okay. So now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to do a technique with my blender pen, which I've done on my videos before. But if this is my first video you're watching, you'll get to see it now. Well, let me zoom back out a second. I'm going to use four ink colors. I'm using um, Tempting Turquoise, Wild Wasabi, Daffodil Delight, and Melon Mambo. These are all three from the Brights collection, and Wild Wasabi is from the Subtles. So you're just going to squeeze in the middle of your ink pad, pop your ink pad open, and in the plate, you'll have ink, okay? So I'm gonna do that on all of these. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, sorry about the coughing, is I'm gonna use my blender pen and I have this piece of Whisper White over here I've already done this with. Okay, and I'm going to pick up color in the plate, like so, and color in the flowers, like so. I 
And when I want to move to another color, I simply clean off my blender pen on my scratch piece of Whisper White until it's clear, like so. And then I'm going to pick up a different color. You hear that stupid dog barking? That's my dog every time I have a video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color all of this. Okay, in this stamp set, you also get two sentiments, happiest birthday and so grateful. So I'm using the so grateful stamp, and I'm going to use tempting turquoise and just stamp this right in the middle. I kind of missed right there. So grateful, and the S didn't quite have enough ink on it, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. I'm just going to take my tempting turquoise marker... Well, I guess I better use the other end. And you might see my head come into this because I have to kind of get over it. Okay. So now I fixed that. It's not perfect, but it's okay. I don't I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to my cards. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like they're not handmade if they have no flaws. So, anyway, okay, so that is our image for the front. So I'm going to set this aside. So then we need um, the back of our card and one handy. And we're going to use this size to make the card of the framelits. And this is the package of framelits you get. This is the apothecary set. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Now my phone's ringing. Man, this is going to be a lovely video for you guys. Okay. Um... So again, same thing, sandwich, if I turn it this way, I could get two of these out of this. And I'm using white for the back because nobody's really going to see it and um, it's where you're going to write. So I didn't want to use up my designer series paper for the back. So we'll just do whisper white and then... Okay, so this is the back. And then I'm going to leave this here for the front. This is a piece of designer series paper, Tempting Turquoise. So there's that. So we'll set these aside. Now I'm going to use my 12 inch trimmer and my stylus for my Simply Scored. And I'm just going to line up these top two first little corners in the little. I don't know what you call this, canal, <laughs> that's what I call it, and I'm just going to score right along that edge, not pushing too hard because the designer series paper isn't as heavy as cardstock, and so I don't want to tear through it. Okay, so then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my signature here in Tempting Turquoise before I put my card together.
And then on the front here, I'm just going to bend this first so that it has the ease of opening once it's together. And you're just going to line these up like so. And I'm just using this crappy pair of hole punch that I've got. I've got to get a new hole punch. I need to order the Stampin' Up! one. This one's awful. Okay, so there's that hole, and then I'm going to punch one over here. And then I'm using, um, I think this is 5 8 inch Organza Whisper White Ribbon, which I love this stuff, and it's like 10 yards for something ridiculously cheap. I think $5.95. I really like this ribbon. It's a very multi-purpose useful. Okay. I have a friend who's getting married soon and I was thinking that this would be pretty to use for something in her wedding. It reminds me of wedding-ish stuff. So I'm just going to do a double knot. And luckily this ribbon's really forgiving when you tie it because it's wide and then it just kind of, see? looks great. Then I'm just going to trim the edges. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals. Two is all I need, I think. That's all I used on the other one. And I'm just going to center it here and stick it down. And that's it. I have my card. And I love it because it's a different shape. So thanks so much for watching guys and there'll be lots more videos to come. I am getting better every day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.